Hi everyone, Lolly here. I'm going to do a flip through of the Christmas journal I just finished and it will be posted later tonight probably um, at scrappylollypapercompany.com and um, I'll put that or you can see it there on the video. So um, I am in love with this book. You know how sometimes you create one and you just fall in love and I have. I, uh, I made the signature so big, it originally had four, and here's the other two, but they didn't fit, so it just called for another journal to be made, and this one will be finished very soon, I hope, because it's getting really close to Christmas, so um, that will be the second one. So that was a good thing, I got enough signatures out of the way to get two done, um, but this one... I am totally in love with so I'm just gonna do a flip through um, I have a video already up that shows kind of in the process and the things that I have done and I could do a how-to after that but this video is going to be for the person who buys it so they can see the inside of the journal um, I do still need to take the glue strings I just literally finished it so the spine I hid the stitches and it's just some pretty little kind of antique red bells. There's also the same bell here. It feels a little dark, maybe, I don't know. Um, and the lace is here, just wrapped around here just to kind of help it close because it is pretty chunky. And so it kind of wants to open. And um, so I put the little four corners on here. Cute little handle. I'm in love with that handle. Um, and the little bell attached here so you can see and again I'm just gonna do a flip through so the person who wants to buy it can see the inside here we have just a little envelope like I remember how to and there's nothing in it right now but I thought it'd be cute to hide a little Christmas poem or picture or something special inside of there and you can just tie it shut again uh, kind of at a weird angle with the camera so and this is just a little bag but there's a pocket there to put things in this paper here is a pretty vellum paper you can see it shining in the light and this is just a little pocket with some burlap here another pocket with just some decorations on there this is a tag here but I put the lined paper on this side so that you could write or journal on that side um, put a story or put the Christmas picture on this side and these are just little tuck spots yep, that stuck. so I wanted to leave plenty of places to glue things to write stories things like that on there again another tag with this uh, lined on the back So there's paper to write on. I just thought if it's Christmas and you don't have to fill it all in one Christmas. So every Christmas you can continue to put more stories in there. Really faintly if you can see it there's a picture of Santa there in his beard. So but every Christmas I would pull this out and write more in it and this year I left this so that if you wanted to tie a special ornament that you received or something like that in there. I feel like I'm going to lower this just a little. Let's see if you can't see it better. I feel like I'm a little too far away. Okay. All right. And here we go. Just, um, I think it's an envelope. It's just a tuck spot here. Place to journal. Here's a pocket here. Just has a little burlap tag in there behind this lace you could tuck things put things behind there Christmas cards things like that that you got during the holidays again another and I will tell you that these are um, flashcards that I bought two plus two is four that kind of thing and I covered them with paper and again put the lined paper back there so that you can journal and write your Christmas stories on it here's a pocket right here to put more goodies in for your Christmas holidays your keepsakes places to write stories these are just a little um, chipboard letters that say joy another pocket here 
I had a tag. Oh, I could put it in there to show you that. This little tag will be there also, just plain so that you could either write or put a picture on the back. And this little circle is also a little tuck spot. And that's the end of that signature. Now this, I am in love with these little bags that you get at Dollar Tree or wherever. And um, I just put the whole bag here. So you could even let it hang out on the side of the journal. But you could fill it with all your little keepsakes you want to keep in there. Or Christmas letters, things like that. You could keep inside the bag there. And then here we have another pocket with the chipboard letters that say Santa. And on this side, it's just another tag. And also so that you can write on the back. Another little tag here. Just a little metal snowflake on there. And some more papers to write on. I tried to just put... I don't know about you, but I love to have all the little things hanging off of it and um, lots of goodies like that. So here's a little bag right here. You can, there's a little tag in here. The back's not finished, but it's kind of just, um, if you want to put it somewhere, um, just to decorate a page or something like that. It's just an extra little something in there. And here is a little pocket spot here and a little tag made out of vellum and I thought it would be cute if you could just glue a picture on there and have the real pretty background and this is just um, blank pages to write on and again this was the stamp I showed you earlier with Santa I think it's an awesome stamp and just some fun crinkly paper to put in there you could glue pictures on there's a pocket here and this I distressed and used the ink after I ran it through the embossing machine, you could glue a picture on there or a little keepsake. Um, more little tuck spots, pages that you can write on, and another little tag, and it says Christmas photos, and you can put your photos or special photo on there. On the side here is another tag, and again with the lined paper. Just so happened I had that blue paper and it had lines, and I thought that would be perfect for that. Here's a little pocket here and have just this little envelope. You could put something special in there. And just little tuck spots. And this is one of the flash cards that I covered. And here it is. It's just going to be a tuck spot. And you can see here you can put behind that. And sorry I bumped the camera. And here's just a little piece of a list that I stuck in there. More pages for journaling. Some creakly fun paper. And... This one is not a flashcard, it's just paper, but it's blank on the back so that you can write. And on the front, glue your pictures and your keepsakes, things like that on there. Again, another paper that's blank on the back. But when you have these, you can glue a picture here on the front or a copy of a picture if you don't want to use the actual picture. And then you can write the story here on the back. And then on the blank pages, you just write your Christmas stories and your Christmas memories in there. So, and then this was just embossed snowflake paper that I just love. It just tea dyed and kind of just, it's just a yummy piece of paper and you could write over it or put a picture here and I think that would be a really pretty background. And this as well is a pocket to put more of your Christmas memories in. The back, I normally leave them pretty plain um, so that you can pull them around, drag them around. Take them with you everywhere you know when you're setting them down there's nothing back there and again i have this on here just to kind of help pull it shut um, but by the time you fill it it should be really full at that time and um, again the burlap here on the edges with the poinsettia and the real cute little gingham ribbon there so i'm completely in love with this book it turned out so cute um i love the little handle and and all the goodies here on the front so I hope that you enjoy it if you're the one that's going to take it home I am sure you are going to just have endless and endless hours of time spent just trying to fill it up and again just leave it out during the holidays maybe have other people maybe write a story or put something inside there or um, just each Christmas you and your family sit down and and write out your Christmas stories and your memories for that year 
and uh, each year you could fill it more and more and uh, till it gets really huge so so thank you for spending time with me I appreciate you taking a look at my new book and again it will be at scrappy lolly paper thank you